Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco F1 on PhoneOps and today we are talking about a brand new ROM that is CAF X by the same developer who gave us the Shiva no name kernel which is used in the Oxygen OS port. He is also maintaining AOSP extended for us and this is another ROM from him. So we are going to have a quick look at it. This is by no means a review. We will talk about the features, we will talk about my initial experience and maybe later if it is worth we can definitely go ahead and do a complete review. But before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find the link to our telegram community where you can join us and help us get to a thousand members last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going So what do you see over here is the Android version 11 5th May security patch CAF system version CAF is a you know sort of a branch which very few people make a ROM on so really really good to see a CAF version of ROM recently updated for the Pocophone F1 the kernel is the Shiva no name kernel as I mentioned earlier now as you can see the UI is pretty smooth pretty slick and I've been using this since morning my personal sim card is in there so one by one let's go through the UI elements and then we can talk about the settings menu in the back end. first things first initial impressions the launcher is very very basic looks like a pixel launcher it might be one so yes it is definitely the pixel launcher and you have quite a lot of you know customization options although not many like some of the leading launchers but yes it should be able to get the job done now moving on if we talk about the home screen to the left you have the google feed from the top to bottom you do have a lot of notification tiles now you would see that there is something called is on the go so if you are someone who is texting while you know walking and stuff this actually makes your background transparent so that you can actually see through the camera what is in front of you while walking and texting pretty nifty feature works like a charm and apart from this as well you have a ton of options in the notification tiles so let's actually adjust the brightness over here a little bit so you do have screen recording so the android 11 screen recorder does allow you to record internal and external audio together and let's see if there is any stutter while recording there's not major major stutter but there is some stutter so when you record it for gaming you might notice that there is a very very you know slight hint of lag apart from this in the notification tiles you have other options like fps info cpu info and if you go to the edit option you can go ahead and add a lot of things now as you can see over here there's a lot of options that are available and that is something really really neat to see because when you are using a custom rom if it is giving you a lot of customization options it it makes your possibilities endless and that is what i like about this rom as well now moving on you have nothing much the app drawer is pretty decent you have the search bar at the top and the icon shape is sort of like a pebble icon shape not exactly circle so something different over here the camera application over here i think is a different one than the one with you get which you get with most of the you know uh, custom roms so if you go over here you go to settings okay this is the version info it doesn't give me a name i've seen this camera app in a few custom roms but very very rarely have i seen this one nonetheless let's actually move on to settings and talk about the options that are available in settings now as you can see over here you do have the blur feature wherein the notification tiles or the notification shade will be blurring the background so that is something pretty neat now as always this is a android 11 rom what do you expect if you go to the Wi-Fi settings and you can you know connect to a Wi-Fi you can disconnect you can auto reconnect ton of other options same thing in network and internet you can go ahead and customize that as well but the interesting part is CAF extras so if you go to system over here you have general tweaks where you have these many options pulse equalizer volume panel style aosp tilted miui compact so a hell lot of customization there if you go to buttons you have advanced restart you have the power menu customization and these are the amount of things that you can actually go ahead and keep in the power menu you have playback control volume rocker wake 
and if you go to notifications you have a ton of customization here as well so if you go to dialer you have vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect different you know patterns for vibration you do have the gaming mode adaptive frame rate so that is something i've seen for the first time so it'll be fun testing this rom on the gaming live stream you can customize a hell lot of animations as well and if you talk about panels you have a hell lot of customize customization here even on the lock screen you have a lot of customization and last but not the least you have the three finger gestures for screenshot as you can see over here you have the long screenshot as well so all those features are pretty nifty and working as expected now i'll tell you this in my brief experience with this rom i've not had any major major issues which will you know stop me from recommending this to you as a daily driver but apart from this you have sound display theming customization as you can see over here you have a complete set of customization options now after resurrection remix this is a rom in which i have seen a lot of customization and i will tell you that this rom has a sort of a different take on the source code itself because it is based on CAF. CAF is something which is connected to Qualcomm and this phone runs a Qualcomm processor so I'm pretty sure you should have a much integrated and much much better experience although I did find that the fingerprint unlock is working absolutely okay but sometimes there is a half a second or less than a half a second delay in unlocking using the fingerprint and if you talk about the security options over here right and if you go to face unlock there we go set up next as you can see over here this is the IR face unlock so I cannot pick up the phone now but IR face unlock is there and it is working as expected you do have the app locker which you can use with fingerprint and you can use with a pin as well so all I'm trying to tell you here is whenever we do a complete review of this ROM and a complete review is something we plan on doing after doing the gaming live stream I would you know love to go through each and every option which you are interested in because the amount of customization that CAF extended has if we were to cover each and everything this video would be 20 to 25 minutes long and I don't really want to bore all of you all with features which probably you will never use. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about this ROM and before we actually end this video there are a couple of things that I would like to show. So first of all we will talk about the CPU throttling test because these tests have become a very very integral part of judging a benchmark or uh, judging a ROM. So as you can see over here all green in a 15 minute test. 174 so the performance when it comes to thermal throttling was superb i did not experience a lot of heating as well moving on we can actually go to geekbench over here 383 1847 now this doesn't throw things out of the park or out of the water this is not an amazing score but it's a pretty decent score and as you can see the animations are also pretty subtle and pretty smooth so geekbench and Thermal throttling gives us a clear picture that this ROM might not have the super fast performance but it has a consistent performance and when we actually do a gaming FPS live stream test it will be pretty amazing to see what all this ROM is capable and later we will maybe do a full review. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video should we do a full review or not do tune in to the live stream until the next one this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye.